Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris from WinFlectorExpert.com and I'm going to show you how to configure the WinFlector authentication. WinFlector authentication is the default form of authentication within the WinFlector server. It involves the program storing the users in its own database. The other option is to use Windows or Active Directory authentication, which I show in another video. Let's open up the WinFlector server. Go to Preferences. Go to user accounts. In order to use the Winflector authentication, Winflector has to be selected in this box. So let's add an account. The name will be Tom. And we can make him a Winflector administrator, able to use the configurator remotely. We can require a password change every now and then. And with the login limits options, we can limit the number of simultaneous connection um, this account can make. Save him. Now we can edit his account. It's the same uh, dialog. And we can drop it. The user has been deleted. Now we can also select the applications the user will be able to access through the Unflector server. Let's see. So let's uh, give Tom only the calculator, no paint for him. Alright. Let's take a look at the more general account options. You can prohibit the password reuse all for a certain time period. This is meant to be used in conjunction with this password change option. You can log the account after a number of invalid logins, which we recommend for hardening. Now, in case a legitimate user logs his account this way, uh, it will be logged in this list. So you will just click on it and click the unlock button. You can also enforce strong passwords, which is at least 8 characters, um, mixed case, and contains at least one number or a special character. You are also given the option to export the accounts or import them. Last but not least, a very important option is launch applications as Windows user. We strongly recommend to do it. Use an account which is very restricted, definitely not administrative with many file and registry access rights revoked. This way, if a security issue presents itself in one of your applications, it shouldn't uh, touch the system very much. Alright, gone over all the configuration options related to inflector authentication. That's it. So thank you very much, and if you like this video, please go and check out WinFlectorExpert.com. See you soon.